Perez. The sun rose on a crisp, cloudy day. The sandpiper stretched its wings in the chilling breeze. It knew it was time to leave, so it took flight. It soared through whirlwinds of tumbling leaves that fluttered like butterflies. On and on and on it flew, across borders only seen on maps. It flew over a crumbled village where a small boy sheltered, hoping the earth would never quake again. The sandpiper's shadow swept across the rubble of the boy's once safe home. The boy spied a falling feather, spinning and drifting. He climbed to the top of a craggy mountain and caught it. It was soft and smooth on his grimy cheek. The bird continued on its way. It flew over snow-capped mountains and deep river valleys. It flew through long nights where the spit of gunfire bit into the darkness. When morning came, it flew low over fleeing families, walking in lines like ants. A girl at the end of the line had her world bundled on her back. She saw a fallen feather at her feet. She picked it up and tickled her brother's toes. The echo of their laughter drifted away with the dust. The bird left the laughter behind. There was still such a long way to go. It headed into a dark storm of deafening thunder, wild wind and rain. When the storm passed, the bird emerged from shredding clouds, drifting apart like pieces of a broken puzzle. The land below was flooded. The houses were islands in a sea of brown. The sun broke through the clouds and shone on a fragile feather floating in the water. A mother reached out. She took the feather in her gentle fingers, dried it and made a boat for her children. They placed their boat on the water and dreamed of sailing away. The bird headed away from the brown floodwaters and out over blue oceans, wave rose like mountains. The bird was tired, but it knew it was getting closer to where it would be safe and warm. It swooped down to the shimmering water near Mia's house, calm and quiet. Mia saw it coming. As it glided in, she spied a falling feather spinning and drifting. Mia ran and caught it before it hit the ground. She looked at the feather. She liked the way it caught the light, the colours, the smoothness. Perfect. Dad, she said, look what I caught. Wow, said Dad. Aren't you lucky? Mia smiled. Yes, I am, she said. Not far from Mia's house, the bird rested at the water's edge, safe and warm. <laughs>